you. Uh, <clears throat> I got you, Paulo. I got you, bro. I wanted to work with you guys personally, and I want to uh, help you guys achieve knowledge using the harmonic scanner and also building your business on the side along the way. When you bring your people in, they need, we want to teach them to learn. Okay, we don't want we don't want to bring people in and they don't know what to do and they depend on the signal. And when they only depend on the signal and we cannot teach them anything more, that means sometimes people are lazy or people doesn't want to learn. So when you teach them to learn and you show them how powerful this these tools can help them, they will see and they will learn. Okay, so. One of the things, what, I, what we really want to look for in the harmonic scanner is, I like the shark pattern. So butterfly, I don't like butterfly at all. Never will and I never do because it does not work how I want it to work. See, butterfly, it's no good. Why? It usually does not, does not go well with the strategy I show you, so I never, touch butterfly why it's because you see it's turning off there from the x the d right and the entry zone you see where the pointer of the harmonic pattern is the d is actually down here it hit stop loss already so every time when the when the pattern hits stop loss usually this tray is complete it's, it's done okay it's done and we don't want to get in anymore because it's already hit stop loss meaning that um it may not go up, it may just do that and just come all the way down, okay? It may do something like that. And if we are not sure, we don't want to trade. We want to be sure of our trade before we get into any trade. So what I like to look for is, I like to look for a shark, okay? First, I, I'm gonna look for a shark. If there's no shark, I look for a garlic and a bat. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll. See, the shark. This shark right here is, it's it's a uh, expire. Oh, it's done already. It's expired already. Okay, see, why why does it expire already? It is because when we look at it, okay, now when you look at it, where the D is telling you to buy in between, you see the entry point here, and then the entry point here, on this green. It tell you to buy it, but it went up and hit take profit number one already. Every time when a trade hit take profit number one, this trade is done and it's complete. You don't want to buy here anymore because it's too late. You're supposed to buy here, but if you go buy here, the chance of you're not making, you're not doing well is going to go. I don't know where it's going to go next. Okay, so we don't we don't want to we don't want to be where I'm not sure where this trade is going, but the harmonic scanner say buy. So it if it doesn't hit take profit three, I'm gonna buy. No, don't do that. You want to wait as soon as it gets here. Harmonic scanner is pointing under D. It's where you place your buy. But we're gonna be looking at. At a shark, let's see if we find something pretty that we could go ahead and uh, enter or trade. But it doesn't seem like a shark is popping up lately. Now, uh, all these shark that pop up like down here, okay, it's it's all the way down here. It's already over. It's done already. You see when we click it in the shark, it's already finished. It's done. See that right here? It's finished already. See why I tell you not to play. See why I tell you guys when you guys place the trade or buy, and whenever you hit take profit number one, just take your profit. Well, this trade hits take profit number two. But you see what happened if if you would if this thing comes down around here, and if you were to buy again, it never he never hit take profit number one. It came down and down and stop loss. See, so that's why you always wait until this D pop up and you enter here and take profit number one and get out. Now, this trade is done, but let me see if we have any other trade that uh, we can find. So now that I see that the trade is done, I will be looking at the Gartley this time. Let's check on the Gartley. Now, why I like the Gartley is Gartley and bad. To me, I like shark. Shark's doing good, the best, and then 
garlic and then bat. Okay, and butterfly it's a no no. Uh, you see a butterfly or deep crab. Um, I don't really take it. It's only sometimes I don't really take it. But I like garlic, uh, shark, garlic, and bat. Okay, and if I see a butterfly, don't touch butterfly. It's a secret. Okay, see that this butterfly don't touch butterfly, and it, you it just does not cooperate. Okay. Now let's take a look at where we see the X here. Okay. Now we see where you guys see where the X is up here. Now we see where the D is right here. Now the entry point it is telling us is 129.551. So you guys just get ready to take this tray, but not yet. Since the market is getting over, we will take the tray here on the Sunday, on the next, um, in the next two days, once the market reopen. So this is going to be a beautiful, good play, a good, a beautiful tray. Okay, we're gonna be looking. So what we're gonna be looking is this. Let's first of all, let's see if this tray is good to take. Now we're going to measure where the X. Okay. Where the X is, all the way down to the RSI. We do the same thing on this D. Here, all the way down to the RSI. What do we look for? Oh, we look for uh, two things, the entry zone and the divergence to confirm that this trade will go opposite okay now we're going to be looking for a divergence from the x to the d well that's x here the d oops it is going this tray up here is going downward this one down here is going upward now I see a couple pointer. You see a spike here, a really big spike and another spike here. As long as we see less than four or five, let's say that we see no more than four spike, this tray is good. But if you keep seeing a lot, you draw a line and there's a lot of spike like this, do not take this tray because this is no good, okay? It's no good on the RSI. You don't want to see the peak or the spike or, or this mountain go up a lot more than five. Well, this little one is fine. You see this one? This is okay, okay? This is okay, so we're not gonna worry about them. Those are good because it's very tiny. Now, we, if we find out, we found out that from the X to the D on the harmonic pattern, X to the D, okay? When we see here x to the d here x to the d it's going downward the line is going down the x to the d here x right here and the d right here on the rsi is going upward see ya? now it is a divergence and this tray will soon drop when do we know when this tray is going to drop Honestly, we don't know exactly when, but we know when to enter our trade. Now take a look. Take a look at one more thing. What we wanted to confirm is this. I know that it is a divergence. Now I am going to look for the next highest peak after the B. So let me mark here. So what we're gonna be looking at is, we're gonna be looking at right now, anything from here to here, okay? Okay, right here to here. We are looking on the bottom on the RSI. We need to look for the highest mountain or highest peak, which it is right here. Now, the D is, here okay so when we look at the highest one what do we do we go ahead and mark it mark it like that 
and we mark the top one as well. Okay, every train is different. Every train is not the same. Every train is different, but you could confirm it. If the x naught d has a divergence, then you wait for, you wait for this. Okay, you want to wait for here until the entry and you enter a cell. Okay. Well, if you will enter the cell anytime, um, you can enter the cell anytime. But if it goes up, you can enter another one. If it doesn't go up, it's just gonna drop. Okay. So now, what am what I just did? Look here, right here and here is this and is that. Now, when I draw a line up here and I draw a line like that, I see another divergence in between the B over here, which we found that there's the highest peak. And we drew a line here to here. There's a divergence on here too. It's telling us that, hey, it's time for this tray or this tray may be coming down anytime soon. So we're looking at a divergent here to here, which is the X and the D. And we see another divergent here, a little divergent here from these two points of it. So we're looking at this tray will be moving around this area, okay? Probably gonna be hitting this area and around this, let's say around this area, okay? Around this area, you know, if this tray goes above if this tray goes above if this tray go above the x okay if it goes above the x it has stop loss already or if it goes above it and if the harmonic scanner look like if it looks like that it is not a divergence anymore or like that because it's going upward, X and the D is going upward, and same with this, it's going upward, okay? So you wanna make sure that it stay under the X, and if it goes upward, then it will not be a divergence, so it may not fall down. But in the meantime, uh, to me, it does look like this trade will be going down uh, next week, okay? Not today, not right now, but it will be going down next week. So if you were to place a trade here, Perfect, and you can hold, okay? Now let's go over to um, another tray and let's see what else we have that is uh, good for us. The AUDUSD. So yesterday, those who took um, tray with me, it actually made a good profit on the NZD, JPY, and the AUD, USD. So whoever went on yesterday, I took those tray, already hit the profit, okay? Now, I see here the AUD, USD, okay, the AUD, USD, it does look like it's going to be a beautiful play here as well. It's not going to happen today, but next week. So we do see a good couple trade. Good that you guys are on. We do see a good couple trade going on here. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. X to the D. Okay. The D is in the entry zone. Now we go ahead and X to the D. Now we're gonna go ahead and measure it as well. So it's okay, we only have one, two little mountain, one big mountain, one little mountain. So it's fine. Now let's take a look to see if we see anything more. But it's a good trade. This is a good sell already. But take profit, take profit number one. Okay. Take profit, profit number one. Why is it does looks like um 
it may not be going down more, but be sure to take profit, take profit number one and be happy with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could identify more by anything beyond the B. So I found out that there is a big mountain here and another small mountain here, which is the D. So I go ahead and measure it to see if I find a second clue telling me that it is going down. So now I see that there's another divergence here. So meaning that this tray will be going down, okay? Not today, because market is closing in about one, uh, um, 40 minutes, uh, 50 minutes. So next week we will be seeing this tray do something like this, okay? Okay, it will be doing something like that. So I take profit, I take profit number one and be happy with it, okay? Be happy with it. So this is going to be the beautiful trade setup for next week. Um, be on the lookout for that. Uh, make sure that you, you guys look on the harmonic scanner before you guys want to really place a trade, making sure that this trade stays a divergence, okay? Making sure. If somehow when the market opened, this trade moves something like that, okay? Let's say that if the market opened and this trade is, um, this trade is something like that, uh, don't, don't, don't get in, okay? Don't get in, okay? Usually, uh, trade like to skip during the weekend. It skip and uh, when it skip, it just doesn't really um, uh, do good. So we, we don't want that to, uh, we want you guys to stay put and uh, to be patient with the trade. Okay, so so I hope you guys understand the harmonic scanner. Um, harmonic scanner is a very easy to use. Uh, just be patient and everything will go the way we want it to go. So you, we look at the AUR and JPY and the AUD USD. It's going to be a good trade next week. So we're looking at the AUR and JPY and AUD USD, both going to be a sell position. So like if you guys take the trade, uh, I, you, you guys can hold it, but market is closing, so don't even, don't even worry about taking any trade. Okay, don't worry about taking any trade at all because it's, we're not gonna be seeing anything any action very soon. Let's see what's going on the 15 minutes chart, A-U-R-A-U-D, shark. Let's see if it works. Oh, okay, perfect, now it works. Let's see here. Oh, it's going to be a good quick buy. It's probably going to be a good, a good quick buy, but the market is slow. Okay, you see, when you look in the X and the D, we do the exact same thing. And we look quick in the RSI, right here, right here. It's a beautiful pattern, okay? It's a beautiful play. Um, this trade could be you guys could place this tray and it's going to be because the 15 minutes chart we're not really seeing anything in between b okay we don't see anything in between this area and in between this area because it's a very uh, small time frame and we don't really see things like that but it does looks like it's telling us that it's going to be uh hitting take profit number one and it's game over <laughs> But like I said, market is closing soon. You guys feel free to take the trade if you guys want or just wait for next week setup and be patient with it. It's gonna be moving very, very slow at the moment because market is closing. So uh, we're not really seeing any big impact going on. This trade may just be floating like this until market close or it may just do something cool and hit take profit number one before market close. I don't know, I don't know. But it does look like it's a beautiful play on this trade. But the reason why I might not even gonna take this trade. Should I take this trade? I won't take this trade because you see the RSI. 
okay? One thing about this, you guys got to be really careful is you really want to make sure that um, it's here. You see that the tray is running sideways. The tray is uh, running sideways. It's running sideways, okay? It's not, it's not close. It's not really close to where I want it to be. It's not close to the bottom portion or the top portion, okay? So when it does sideways, I won't even take the tray because it's not giving me the opportunity of telling me that this tray will move up or down yet. This tray might have the opportunity to come a little bit down, may take a long time before it go up. But like I say, I will wait until next week with the market reopen and we will take this tray. So um, both of the good tray, always make sure that you guys look in the harmonic scanner, EURJPY and the AUDUSD. Take a look at those, be, be aware of it, be, take, make sure you guys stay up to date, look at it, as soon as the market opens, open your harmonic scanner and leave it on, okay? Leave it on. But yeah, I guess this trade likes to play and uh, I guess this trade is going to go up like what we expect. But it's a 15 minutes chart. It may or may not go up and hit take profit number one. It may hit take profit number one. I don't know. So anyways, I hope you guys understand the harmonic scanner. I hope you guys are uh, it's getting value from this. I uh, use this correctly. And you guys will do good in it. Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about what other people tell you, how bad, how, what isn't, how good, uh, how, how to use the harmonic scanner. Honestly, doing this way, you don't need extra indicator. A lot of people come in here and they intend to use a lot of indicator, okay? You use a lot of this indicator and it really doesn't really help because it's too much. When you do too much, okay, when you, do, when you put too much indicator or uh, software on it, you're going to get confused. You see, I see a lot of people using all of these, okay, all of these to measure everything. Um, I wouldn't even recommend it because it's not going to be easy. So Fibonacci, you guys can use Fibonacci with that, but I don't even care to use Fibonacci, okay? But what's so good about Fibonacci, it, it, uh, it comes down to uh, their own, it's very, very nice. It's, it's, it's very good in play, but we're not going to be learning a Fibonacci. I'm not going to even use it because it's going to get you guys confused. You look at this, you identify what it's a divergence and knowing that it has to be close or by the entry point of the harmonic scanner, keep the stop loss where it is and you guys are good. That's it. Just keep your eyes open. Don't um, right now, I, I don't suggest to just take the tray yet. Keep your eyes open when it gets to this area and it stays like this. Go ahead and take the tray. So take this tray on Sunday or Monday. I'm sure it's gonna, uh, I'm sure this tray is gonna look very, very good. So I hope that you guys understand what's going on. We got about a few minutes left to go. Uh, Paulo, bro, you have anything you wanted to uh, say or you wanted to uh, talk about? Um, I unmuted you. Okay, thank you, Blue. Thank you for the lesson. Uh, may we have a uh, little time for the question, please, if anyone is, has a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we got a few minutes. So questions? Hello, Blue. Yeah. Uh, which time frame we, do you recommend when using harmonic scan? I uh, recommend any time frame, if just that daytime, if you guys want to use the 
um, day frame, the the whole day frame. It just take a long. It's a very long, but uh, I like to use the one hour chart in the fifteen minutes chart. But four hours chart is good too. Okay, and uh, what tool do you use to 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 analyze the, your signal that uh, you sent to us on Telegram channel? If this oh, is, uh, do you use I, the, same the, the signal there is not just myself sending signal. I have another trader that uh, also sent a uh, couple other trader that also uh, sent signal. So they sent most signal on it um, than than myself. So. I've been I've been really busy, so I have not really sent any signal in there yet. It's just the other trader that they've been sending signal. I think both. I think they're using Fibonacci uh, with the they're using Fibonacci uh, and and maybe a web analyzer something like that. But I have not. Uh, they've been doing that. They've been sending signal to to the team. Okay, well, you may you may pass your gratitude to them because they are. They are signal very good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're very good, and I do I it's just sometimes me and them. The last week it's just myself. Actually, last two weeks it's just myself sending signal, but within the last couple of days or so, they they've been uh, they've been on it. They've been sending signal on it. So honestly, when I look at the tray, I'm I'm so used to. The, the screen I'm so used to the graph and when I look at it I, I know I just see it <laughs> I just see it on the chart and I know that this trade is going to go up or go down so uh, I, last couple of weeks I've been sending signal but just this uh, this week and the last week about the end of last week and this week I have not really been on it uh, much I've been really busy so they, they've been uh, sending signal uh, lately uh, just last half for last week and this week okay may, may i give it as a request that uh, uh, please send don't uh, you may send us uh, signals as much as uh, possible because we have got some new people okay they don't believe that you, you can make money in this business in this industry so if you send us signal and we show them that uh, try this signal when they try and, and they see it, that they made money they they are interested to join so please on that channel please send us as much signals as you can bro yeah we will, we, we will do that i uh, next week i will uh, i will do that i will put more uh, i'm probably gonna be really busy but i will uh, put more time into it because i've been really busy working on a lot of update on the website and doing uh, helping with the t uh, programming on the side, and so I have not been on it much for this week. But next week we will certainly put more signal out, and as much as we can, like at least one or twice or three times per day, and we, we can help uh, each and every one. And um, also understanding how to use the harmonic scanner, and we will send out more signals so we all can uh, be happy together. Okay. A anybody with a question, please? Betha? Betha, I have a question. Betha, washa maiki Betha. Washa maiki uliza swali. Betha, washa... Hello? Can you hear? Yes, Hi. yes I, I hear you. Great, hello. Hello, I'm very new in this uh, class. Uh huh. It's okay. And, yeah, but, and this was my very first class to this harmonic training. Okay. Uh, it seemed to be very complicated, but it, it is very easy to understand. Great. Right. So, uh, I was asking if there is a website where maybe lectures are loaded so that we find that more time to to get time to revise, to practice, because 
I don't think if we'll be able to be to be like meeting you every day mm-hmm. or any time we need you. Mm-hmm. So is there a website where we can find all, all those lectures loaded there? Yeah, there is. Uh, Paulo, we will direct her to the Team Horsey member area. And uh, we, I got a video, all the video on there showing how to do harmonic scanner class and showing how to navigate and how to use the iMarket Slide back office. Look.